Hi everyone, it's good to be with you again, even if I can't see you. Um, and just in case we've not met before, or it's, it's been such a long time since I've been in school, uh, my name's Peter, I'm the vicar at Pip and Jim's in Ilford Coombe, as well as in Berry Narva and Coombe Martin. I hope I get to see you in person again as soon as we can, as soon as it's safe. Um, but I know the school are doing a great job helping you have fun and to do that safely as well. I want to ask you some questions today um, and as we do so I'm going to ask you to put your hand up with what you think might be the right answer. So here we go, here's the first question. How many legs does a chicken have? Put your hands up if you think that A is the right answer, they have eight legs. Okay, hands down. Hands up if you think B is the right answer, they have four legs. Okay, hands down. And now hands up if you think C is the right answer. They have two legs. Hands down. Well, obviously I can't see you, but I think I'm probably right in guessing most of you got that right. Chickens have two legs. Well done. Some things we can be really sure about, can't we? And I think most of us know that chickens have two legs. And if you didn't, you do now. Well, what about this question? How many planets are there in our solar system? Is it A, nine? Hands up for nine. Hands down. Is it B, eight? Hands up for eight. Okay, hands down. And hands up for C, which is six. Hands down. Well, the answer is B, eight planets. Now, if you put your hand up for nine, it might be because they used to think there was a ninth planet called Pluto, um, but it's not called a planet anymore, it's called a dwarf planet. So there are eight planets in our solar system. Well done. Some questions like that, we can't, we're not always so sure about, oh, we think we're the answer, we hope we do, but we're not certain. Well, what about this question? Will it be sunny on your birthday? Hands up for A, yes. Hands down. Hands up for B, no. Hands down. Hands up for C, not sure. Hands down. Well, I think most of us probably hope that it's going to be sunny on our birthday, but we have no idea, do we? We can guess, particularly if your birthday's in the summer, the better chance of you having a sunny birthday. But definitely not certain, is it? And we can't really be sure, even if we hope it will be. Well, we're going to talk about that word hope now. Hope is a word that talks about the future. It's things that are going to be that we don't really have much control over. So we might say, I hope that I get fish and chips for my tea tonight. I hope we get to play football in PE tomorrow. I hope I get to sit next to my friend in class. Hope's a really important word because it helps us express things that are important to us, things we want to be true, things we want to come true, but we don't really have much control over. But do you know the Bible talks about the word hope? Most things we hope for are a bit like wishes, things we want to come true but we can't be sure. But the Bible tells us there are some things we can be certain of, some hopes. In the book of Hebrews we're told we have this hope like an anchor. I wonder if you know anything about anchors. Anchors are special sort of hooks that you drop from the side of a boat when you don't want it to float away. If you've ever been in a boat, you know that if you're going on the sea, the sea will push you around. 
and sometimes if you're not careful it will push you into rocks and the boat can sink. But when you drop an anchor it goes all the way down to the ground and holds you still so you don't float away. It makes sure that you're safe, that you're definitely staying in the right place. Well, for Christians, we're told that Jesus is this anchor, that he keeps us when we follow him in the right place. And so we can have a certain hope that God loves us, that we haven't got to worry what tomorrow might bring, because God loves us now and tomorrow and forever, and there's nothing that can stop God loving us. And if we belong to Jesus and his family, then we belong to him and his family forever. To me, that's the greatest hope in all the world. We're going to join together now in saying the words of the Lord's Prayer. As I say this prayer, can I invite you to join in with me? The words are on the screen. If you don't want to join in, that's okay. Just sit nice and still and you can listen as other people do that. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Thanks for joining in my assembly, everyone, and I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe you could have a think about some of the things we joined in and spoke about today. And until I see you next time, remember, God made you special and he loves you very much. Bye.